So, I always see these questions like, oh, what programming language should I learn? How do I get a job? I want to get into programming, but is it C++ or JavaScript? But I don't really get these questions and I think and it's actually kind of a bit hurtful for your journey as a developer. What you see all the time is when you go on YouTube, people are searching for like the top five programming languages or top tens for 2021 or 2020 of the official tier list and they will base their decisions off of that. And you really should not do this and it's actually kind of bad. It's because people are asking themselves the question, which programming language should I learn? What you instead should do is, um, what do I want to do? Because when you like watch these videos, it's like, oh, the number one is Python and you like Google Python course and you watch like a five hour video on how to learn Python and you know all the basics of Python, but then you're like, okay, what now, right? Like, look, what these videos are basically doing is like, um, okay, this is a variable with a string. This is a variable with a um, number and this is a print statement and this is like the first this is like part one with that is 15 minutes long and the next part of the tutorial will be this is an array and we will print the first thing of the array because it's zero and that's another 10 minutes i know what a variable is what a function is but how do I do the things that I want to do? And I think a lot of people do not ask themselves the question, what do I want to do? Is because um, maybe they just want to do it for money and they think this is a bad thing. It's actually not a bad thing. It's a completely valid reason to just do it for money and just to get a job. Maybe they want to do it as a hobby, but I don't know what exactly to do it yet. Or just to have a skill at all. So let's say you want to do it just for money. Now you might just want to search up programming languages for money 2021. But that is also the wrong thing. What you should instead do is to just it's just to look for job offers in your area, because React the React framework might be a very popular thing right now. But in your area or in your country. Um, PHP might still reign supreme or in your area there are no job offerings for React at all. So you could just come to the conclusion, yeah, this video said React is for money, but I don't get a job for React because there are no positions open in my area. And what is in demand in your area might be a completely different thing. And if you want to do it as a hobby, like I want to make games. Also another thing is that uh, developing is a very tool driven thing. You're not just learning a language, you're also learning the tool, like the engine, and you're also learning other tools, like how do I draw 2D things, how do I draw 3D things, and you would also have to learn things like Git. These are all not languages, these are tools, and these are tools that are constantly changing and you have to learn them. So. Um, if I would say I would have to make games, it's easy to say, oh, uh, learn C Sharp because right now the most popular tool, Unity, is using C Sharp. That's true, but don't see it that way. Instead, just say um, learn Unity Engine because now you know where to begin. Now you're not just stuck. So now we are just we are much farther than which program language should I learn already. And the third thing which you should do is like, what do I want to do exactly? I don't just want to learn C sharp. I don't just want to learn how to um, 
make games. I don't just want to know how to use the Unity engine, but um, I specifically want to do a first-person shooter. And now you should just um, start digging and try it. It's because then you just find out that um, it's like I need an engine. Um, I need game logic, 3D assets. I might have to learn like uh, sound design or music. And now you are far better off than millions of people who just want, who just uh, went ahead and watched a programming chart list or a programming tutorial. Because if you want to do really anything, be it a game, be it a web app, be it uh, something you do for money or whatever, is that you have like an entire ball of tools and languages around and you will probably not get away with just learning one language or one tool and you will not find it all in one video or one tutorial or one course that someone is trying to sell you. Because we can just go on here. Git, GitHub. If you do it in Unity, you will probably use uh, Visual Studio. And also in 10 years, most of this will be outdated, like all of the React tutorials, all of the Python tutorials, and all of the things around them are just constantly changing. I'm talking about React and Python a lot in this video, but by the time you're watching this, maybe something else entirely is new and hip. And I think if you want to get in, sort of get into programming, you should not ask yourself which language should I learn. It's because you should ask yourself what do I want to do, and what do I want to do exactly, and what do I need for that and you will be much better off this way. And you might actually get to actually do things, build things, and, and obtain actual skills from that. It's because a lot of what programming involves is like researching things and looking into documentations of new technology that came out. 